There's a kind of insect you may have caught many times around your house. A beetle that's tiny and, at one time, was thought to bring good luck. This one is on her back for the moment, but she'll roll over. Do you recognize it? It's a ladybird beetle, otherwise known as a ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Home is a nearby plant. There she lands and begins looking around for something to eat. She lives on insects even tinier than she is. She finds one, her favorite food, an aphid, sometimes called a plant louse, harmful to plants. Tiny as aphids are, they gather in large groups that suck juices from plants and do great damage. This ladybug has her eye on one aphid in particular. She catches it and makes a meal of it. When she finishes her meal, she cleans her legs. She has large, strong jaws that can grasp and chew other insects. Now she moves her wings gently, but she's not getting ready to fly. She's laying her eggs, that cluster that looks like yellow grapes. She lays her eggs on the underside of leaves where they're not easily seen. Imagine how tiny these eggs are, coming from a beetle so tiny herself. For the moment, Mother Ladybug remains close to her eggs. Days later, you can see the markings of baby ladybugs before they hatch. And here comes the first. Looking as much like a little crab as a ladybug, the baby, called a grub, comes out of the egg head first and moving all six legs. Insects of every kind have six legs. Now here come all his brothers and sisters. They look like crabs too, quite different in appearance from their mother. Their bodies are long at this stage and growing darker. Nearby, a group of aphids sucks juices from a plant, injuring the plant. Suddenly along comes a young ladybug. The grub has never seen an aphid before, but it knows that dinner is at hand. Which one should he grab? That looks like a good one. So does this. Sometimes three or more grubs go after a single aphid. Plant lice are as much a favorite of grubs as of adult ladybugs. The grub grows quickly, his markings change, and he's always hungry. This one scurries up a plant past many aphids to get to the very top. What's he looking for? So that's it. One aphid in particular has caught his attention. He holds it and devours it in a hurry. But nearby, even with many aphids around her, one grub stops to rest. Something new is happening to her. She attaches herself to a leaf 
ready to enter the next stage of her life. She begins by shedding her old skin and crawling out of it, a process known as molting. She's completely out now and bright yellow, but only for the moment. This is her pupa stage, a time to rest and change into an adult. Soon she awakens. She starts to move. Now watch the amazing way in which she crawls out of her shell head first and enters the world a fully grown adult. She's still bright yellow. Soon that will change too. That split down her back is the line that separates her two front wings, or wing sheaths. Now she stretches her body and second wings to their full length. Her spots appear. And below the yellow wing sheaths, you see her second wings, the wings with which she actually flies. She takes time to rest and let her wings dry. She has antennae now, feelers. Before long, her color has darkened and she's on her way in the form in which we know her, the form she'll keep for the rest of her life. Her new wing sheaths are hard and bony, good protection for the soft, thin second wings underneath. And it doesn't take her long to rediscover her favorite food, aphids. This is her first meal as an adult. A meeting of ladybugs. All different kinds, but all round and all beetles. They can now fly whenever they choose, but ladybugs like to crawl to the highest point around and take off from there. Like taking off from your finger, they reach the top, raise their wing sheaths, and fly with their second wings. Wouldn't you know it, there's always one that gets to the top, then doesn't want to take off. Meanwhile, traffic begins backing up behind. Finally, the roadblock decides he'd better get going. 
You'll find them around your house every summer. They'll climb on your finger, they'll fly away home, and who knows, is it possible ladybugs really do bring good luck? Thank you.